Greetings, mercenaries, members of the guild, and Mandalorians, and welcome back to the archives. I have been expecting you. Recently, our researchers have been scouring the galaxy to uncover some more lore regarding around the famed Erosian bounty hunter Cad Bane, one of, if not the undisputed, greatest bounty hunter to have ever lived. Cad Bane was equipped with a variety of weaponry that allowed him to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the most powerful Jedi of his era, with his prime primarily being in the Clone Wars. He was able to fight Jedi such as Quinlan Voss and Obi-Wan Kenobi, two highly acclaimed Jedi Masters. He was even able to fight Ahsoka Tano and Anakin Skywalker at points during the Clone Wars. Cad Bane was an exceptionally skilled mercenary and widely regarded as the best in the business after Jango Fett's untimely demise at the hands of Mace Windu during the Battle of Geonosis. Cad Bane saw his chance and he took it, becoming one of the greatest and most efficient bounty hunters in galactic history, taking every job he could that conceived the possibility of Jedi being the target, or very likely that Jedi would be involved in some method with regards to the mission. Cad Bane always chose missions with Jedi, believing this was his claim to fame. He specifically outlined his arsenal to fight Jedi and Force wielders, allowing him to combat those he respected but did not fear. Cad Bane has mainly said that he greatly respects the Force as well as those that wield it. However, unlike many others, he does not fear them. However, today we are going to be taking a look into Cad Bane more psychologically and mentally. Cad Bane has uniquely quick reflexes for a modern bounty hunter, being faster than Jango Fett, Dirge, Boba Fett, and many of the notable ancient bounty hunters that arrived before him. And through this, I have come up with a theory, a feasible idea that potentially could lead to a long string of theory videos that we will release on the channel. And this revolves around the concept that Cad Bane might be force sensitive. Well, oh my friends, allow us to immerse ourselves in the archives, grab a cantina, and let us proceed. To start off, I believe we have to note that Cad Bane was an exceptionally skilled bounty hunter, being faster on the draw than nearly anyone in the galaxy's history. He was successfully able to outduel Cobb Van, who in himself was able to murder three Pike Syndicate official guards who were smuggling spice into Mos Pelgo, now known as Freetown. Before he could even react, Cad Bane was also able to outdo the deputy, who was Cobb Vant's right-hand official, at the same time, plucking him with three blaster bolts to the direct chest, killing him instantly. Cad Bane was able to fight against Fennec Shen, quickly whipping out his blaster in time before Fennec Shen kicked it out of his hand and it clattered to the floor. Another thing we should note is during his duel with Hunter in the Bad Batch, Hunter being a genetically and sense enhanced clone, allowed Hunter to thoroughly pursue a battle with Cad Bane, believing he would be victorious. However, Cad Bane's experience as a seasoned mercenary and gun for hire gave him the edge with Hunter, despite having a genetic mutation that allowed him to have much higher senses than a normal individual. With Hunter feasibly being able to sense when Cad Bane was going to be able to pick up his plaster before he even did it. Still lost, purely due to Cadwell's overwhelming speed. It's a true testament to his immense speed and formidability in combat. Cad Bane was also able to devise entirely new strategies on the fly to deal with Jedi such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Quinlan Voss, always using his weaponry sparingly in the most strategic method possible, such as launching a ball and chain at Quinlan Voss's legs when he was leaping up into the air to degrade the speed of his pursuers, allowing him to swiftly escape. Cad Bane used rocket boost to speed up into the air, flying while launching flamethrowers, which are impervious to being blocked by lightsabers, down below as his enemies, one of his primary weapons. Cad Bane was even able to out Boba Fett. The heir to the legacy of Jango Fett, Cad Bane's original mentor in the ways of the bounty hunter. Cad Bane was able to out Boba, who in himself was a gunslinging prodigy. Boba Fett has been repeatedly being confirmed to be in his prime at the time of the Book of Boba Fett finale, meaning that Cad Bane and Boba were both dueling on equal ground, despite the fact that Cad Bane was over three decades older than Boba, with Boba being 41 and Cad Bane being roughly around 70. Cad Bane was able to keep up with Boba, even exceeding him by landing two shots on his right shoulder, 
penetrating through the best guy armor by shooting a dislodged point, which was very rare as during a deleted scene from the Clone Wars Season 7 which saw Cad Bane and Boba Fett face off in an altercation. We can see that Cad Bane is shot in the head while he tries to shoot Boba in the head. Down in the Beskar steel would block his modified LL-30 blaster pistols, ultimately resulting in Cad Bane being nearly killed and incapacitated, with his title of the best bounty hunter being briefly stolen by Boba Fett. Cad Bane was considered to have severely deteriorated due to his age, being around the same standard lifespan of a human, that of 70 years old. His species, the Duros, were considered that once the Duros lived past their 60th birthday, they were considered elderly and primarily did not live past the age of 75, meaning that Cad Bane at the time he fought Boba Fett was already on the latter end of age in all actuality. When we look at other gunslingers and mercenaries such as Han Solo, the famed rebel pilot and leader that was one of the pivots in the Galactic Civil War, we can see that Han Solo always had a knack for flying, being able to pilot various mechanical starships in a pristine way that was nigh unrivaled by many others in all of galactic history. Han Solo was also very fast on the draw, being able to outdo Tobias Beckett before Beckett had even finished speaking and before he had even raised his hand to his gun. His blaster penetrated through Beckett, allowing Han Solo to gain the upper edge and immediately kill his foe. These are some similarities between Han Solo and Cad Bane. They always seem to be on top of the situation, whatever they are in. Cad Bane calculated, and Han Solo, as well as Cad Bane, was exceptionally fast on the draw. I would personally love to see a gunslinging duel and confrontation between these two, as I truly believe it would be a really interesting altercation to see who would prevail in the end. Personally, I believe that Han Solo would lose, and Cad Bane, due to his more experience, would ultimately prevail over Han due to his experience and his pure talent. There is one thing I would like to note, however, that Cad Bane was slightly Force-sensitive. It is important to note that with the aspects of midichlorians, which we have already covered a numerous amount of times on this channel, is that the average human was born with a midichlorian count of around 1,500 with being such as Lando Calrissian, Bail Organa, and many others normal humans like us were born with a, that midichlorian count, meaning we were unable to tap into the Force itself in its entirety. Average Jedi midichlorian counts for members of the High Council was around 13 to 15,000 midichlorians per cell. The weakest initiates of the Jedi Order were stated to roll around the midichlorian count of 6,000, and these were the weakest initiates who barely qualified to be the Jedi in the first place. Cad Bane and Han Solo were both considered to have a slightly above average midichlorian count, with Boba Fett considering having roughly 1,700, if not slightly lower, around the same as his father due to the genetic implication that Boba Fett was born out of, without having a mother, and was a purely genetic replica of his father. Cad Bane was estimated at having a midichlorian count roughly 3,000 midichlorians per cell, allowing him to sense things before they happened, picking the opportune moment to strike, primary being the reason why he was such a good gunslinger. Of course, this is all speculation and an educated guess based on my research. However, I cannot ignore that due to Cad Bane's praise as being one of the greatest gunslingers in all of Star Wars history, I cannot ignore the fact that he had to have been a little bit force sensitive, even if only slightly above the average within the range of 2,000 to 3,000 midichlorians per cell. Han Solo, of course, was estimated to be around 2,500. Personally, why I believe he would lose a duel with Cad Bane and the gunslinger is due to the fact that he had a lesser midichlorian count. Cad Bane was able to perceive when his enemies would strike, always f going faster. His reflexes were impeccable, beyond anyone else in all of Star Wars history. He became close to a genuine Jedi with a Force sensitivity seemingly rivaling that of an average Jedi initiate, being able to sense when things were about to happen before they even happened, and being able to perceive when his opponents would strike by detecting their movements. Something was incredibly rare in Star Wars Galaxy. Well, my friends, what did you think of this hypothesis about if Cad Bane 
my favorite bounty hunter and one of my favorite characters in all of Star Wars lore, was actually force sensitive. Cad Bane certainly could be force sensitive, but like I said previously, this is all purely speculation and an educated guess based on numerous sources such as the Bad Batch, comics, the Book of Boba Fett, and of course Star Wars The Clone Wars TV show, meaning that the debate may very well stop here. I'm really enjoying posting more Star Wars content out for you guys. I'm trying to upload as much as I can, but due to the fact I'm managing multiple YouTube channels, it is getting quite difficult. So, it would really mean the world to me if you could show your support by clicking the subscribe button, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends in order to educate them on the rich world of Star Wars. Goodbye, my friends. This is where we part ways. Mercenaries. And I'll see you in a galaxy far, far away.